remember the day when um, it was a day just before Ian and I we, we were engaged and we were preparing to be married. Um, and Ian and I both have one sibling each, so we both have one brother. And Ian, um, in a lovely conversation, asked me, Janet, how many children do you think you would like to have? And I, um, I said, oh, well, maybe three. And I thought I was being so generous. Um, and I said, what about you, Ian? And he said, he said, well, I thought maybe four. And I remember being shocked and thinking, four? I couldn't possibly, possibly cope with four children. Um, fast forward a year, um, I, was in, I was in hospital. I had a really sore and sorry, tough time having this first little baby. And, um, and on about day two or three, the nurse said, look, Janet, I think we might walk you down and we'll give you a lovely hot bubble bath, a salt bath, and um, we'll see if you, we can sort of just make you feel a little bit better. And I thought that sounded wonderful. I just needed some TLC. And so I went down to the bath and I shut the door and I got into this lovely hot bath. Um, and when I should have been relaxing and feeling very comfortable, I got very, very edgy and I was just, all I could see in my mind was the picture of this beautiful little baby and his face and how perfect it was. And I, um, I became very distracted and I just needed to get back to my little baby down the corridor where the nurses were looking after him beautifully, but, but I needed to be with him. Um, I, in that moment, realised how imperfect my love is and if I love this baby so desperately and hungrily um, that I can't bear to be apart from him for a second, then how much more must our Lord love me? Um, and it was an awakening moment. Um, of course, I thought that I had a perfect plan for my, my life and my family. Um, fast forward 23 years and we have nine beautiful children. Um, and I wouldn't, you know, the, the experience hasn't been different for any of them. They're, you know, they're, they're imprinted and I think that we need to stop and think about um, how much more our Lord must love us because his love is so perfect.